Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Today we have a very, very chilly day and a very, very windy day in sunny Florida. But my wife wants to have a fried bologna sandwich, so we're going to make her dad's, Mr. Ed's, famous BLTs. Not to be mistaken with a bacon, lettuce, and tomato, this is fried bologna, lettuce, and tomato. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so here we have my uh, main ingredient, which is the bologna. As you can see, it's got little slits. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Here's, here's going to be my demo piece. I have a little bit of uh, granulated garlic, but that's for the bread that's over here. That's, this is my version. I put this in the uh, broiler. I got mayonnaise on it, and I got some uh, granulated garlic. We're going to pop that and get it nice and toasty and bubbly, and we're going to put cheese on it. Here's the cheese. Then we have some condiments. We got mustard and mayonnaise. You got uh, tomato and onion and lettuce. The only thing we're missing now is let me show you what we got to do to this bologna. I got the outdoor grill going. I'm going to freeze my booty, but, I, but it's worth it. Okay, so the thing of it is, if you don't, uh, well, first of all, this bologna, I'm going to show you how thick that is. That's a number, that's sliced at a number 10 in the Publix uh, Deli. They said, that's our number 10. Is that good enough? And I, I said, yeah, because I didn't know. <laughs> but that's Mr. Ed's suggestion. Slice it on number 10. Anyway, then after you get it, you can, right before you cook it, put little slits in here. And what these do, it keeps it from curling up. So we're going to... Let me move this over like this here. Boom. You got one here. Boom. And then this here. Then I do one in the middle. I don't know if you're supposed to, but make like a little X. Looks nice, huh? Like that. See? Okay, so that's done. That'll be ready for the... Uh, uh, you can do this in a skillet, a griddle. And his, his method when I was there, I, I cooked it on the grill, so I'm doing the same thing here. Okay, let's slide you over here so you can see what we got going here. These are the uh, our sandwich thins. This is what uh, Penny requested. Uh, you can use anything you want. You got hamburger. The first time I had one and I didn't care for it was on toast. It was burnt to a crisp. <laughs> so that's why I think I didn't like them. Anyhow, uh, what we're going to do here, uh, what I is I take. I like using mayonnaise. People use butter. I think like if next time you guys make a grilled cheese. Uh, slap the outside of your bread with some mayonnaise and then put it on the grill. <laughs> or the, not the grill, but the, the pan. You'd be surprised how nice and golden it comes out. It's got a nice flavor. And that's what I've been, I've been doing this for years. I just like the flavor of the, the bun with the, with the butter, the garlic, the uh, mayonnaise, whatever you're using. I like sprinkling a little bit of garlic on here. And then we're going to pop this in the mic. In the, in, the, in the little toaster oven a little bit right before the uh, bologna is, is finished. So as you've seen, I put some uh, mayonnaise on there and now we're going to match up the color. See the color over here? This is white. We'll just uh, sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on here or granulated garlic as it were. And there you have it. It has a nice flavor when it's done. You, what you do is you put this in the, in the toaster oven, the oven, whatever you got there, and you let it melt into the, let the garlic melt into the, the butter or the mayonnaise like I'm using here. It gets a nice golden bubbly color. Then you take that out, put some cheese on each one, pop it back in until the cheese melts, and you're ready to fly. Okay, so now we're going to go outside to the grill. Okay, guys, so as you can see, we're out at the grill. Everything's piping hot. And we're going to put these on. And we're going to cook them until everything's nice and maybe let's say the word a little charred. I don't know. Penny likes them a little well done. Okay, so uh, we'll cook these and we'll be back momentarily. Just to give you guys a little look at what we got going here. See? Doesn't take long. You 
Yeah, this is uh, this actually reminds me. It was a chilly day in uh, <laughs> Fort Sill, Oklahoma, when uh, I was running the range. or not running it, but I was uh, safety on the range. We were going for the M16 range, and uh, we were going to Quonset Hut to keep warm. It was really windy and cold like it is today here, <laughs> and uh, that's where I. Uh, not, not first time met Penny, but that's the first time we actually had a, a discussion. I was at the rifle range, really. Anyway, so I, we're in that uh, Quonset, a place to keep warm. And inside that place, there's like two or three other people. And guess what? They're all from Ohio. <laughs> Don't ask me how they got hooked on this fried bologna kick, but they were all talking about fried bologna sandwiches. And I'm like, no, the last time I had one, <laughs> I don't like them. But that was long ago, far away, and now you can see, look, I'm cooking the dang stuff. Okay, as you can Well, I got the uh, bologna just about done. So now I'm putting on, you can put any kind of cheese you like. It's up to you. I was wanting my American, but didn't have any. So this is a cheddar cheese, and this is a provolone cheese. So now we're going to put this back in the oven for a couple minutes and let the uh, cheese melt. So let me put this in the oven and we'll see you then. Okay guys, as you can see, the fried bologna's done. Off of the grill she comes. Hope Penny likes it like this. She likes it real dark. I'm not that, you know, I think you burn it too much, it tastes too salty, but. Anyway, that's her, she likes it that way, so hopefully I don't get kicked out for undercooking the bologna, as it were. All right, we'll see you back on the inside. Okay, so you, as you can see, our cheese is melted on our buns. Bologna's ready. Now all we need to do is uh, start stacking. Let me get a plate. Okay, so you guys don't think I'm pulling a fast when I slid the meat over this way. Got the plate here for right, right in the middle here. So I'm going to take my cheesy side here. I'm going to put some mayonnaise on there. Well, this is the, uh, the cheddar. Huh? See, it's starting to melt the mayonnaise. Huh? You don't need much. But then we'll take a slice of tomato. This is me. I like putting the mayonnaise on the tomato side. Penny, don't, I don't think she really cares. We'll take a piece of onion, put that down. Right, take a piece of lettuce and put that down. It's really a fun little sandwich thing to make, but uh, hopefully you like them. <laughs> I didn't used to care for them that much. I think uh, living with all these Ohio people, or just one of them anyway, got me into the habit of liking it. So it's all good. All right, then we're going to take one of our cooked up bologna. There you go. I'm going to give that a little dash of mustard. And I'm using this mustard here as a horseradish mustard from uh, Boar's Head. If it'll come out of there. Got a little horseradish mixed in there. All right. Mr. Dan, that's a heck of a lot of mustard, I know, but I like it, so it's all good. Now you could doctor these up any way you like. I'm sure you know that by now. And anyway, then you take your topper and you put it on there. Give us a little squisheroo, and everything should stay together because that cheese is nice and melty. All right, give us a couple of minutes, and we'll meet you by the taste test table. Okay, Miss Camera Girl, thanks for the assist. 
Okay, this is our uh, BLT, Mr. Ed's famous BLT. I just did a little different by uh, toasting up the bun. He toasted it too, but I put some garlic on mine. But anyway, basically the same ingredients. So we're going to take us a nice bite here. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I cooked that perfectly for me. Some of y'all out there might want it black, dark, I don't know. Mm. But like her dad says, the trick is to slice it real thick. He slices it on number 10. So that's what we did here. It really is a delicious little sandwich. I think it's an anytime sandwich, but even today it's cold for us. It's nice. <laughs> so, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Share with your friends, family, and enemies alike. Hit, <coughs> excuse me, hit the notification bell. I mean, hit the subscribe bell button. And notification bell will pop up, you hit that, that will notify you each time we come up with another video. There's a little arrow down below the video box, you hit that and that will give you a drop down box to come down and then that will have the Cooking with Mr. Dan Facebook page link, it will have a link to my daughter's artwork site page, and it will have a complete recipe and how we did this delicious, delicious sandwich just for you. So this is Mr. Dan saying stay hungry, my friends, and when you are, come back and we'll give you another delicious dish just like this. This is Mr. Dan saying stay safe and stay away from COVID. Thanks for watching.